Hello, ye developers. Welcome back to Tony Day's channel. Today we are going to Ajax validation. Right now, in our branches form, we have validated this form only using client side validation. So we have put required fields for every uh, every attribute. So what we are going to do today is we are going to make this branch name unique. That means if we have already registered a branch with the name of Sri Lanka, and if we try to register it again. Uh, with the name Sri Lanka, we are going to say and give an error that this name has already been used. To do this, we need Ajax validation. Uh, not Ajax, we don't exactly need Ajax validation, but uh, to show it, uh, give a more real time response to the user, we should use Ajax validation. So, first, we need to enable that in the form. So, we go here and say enable Ajax validation. make it true okay that is done and next we need to go into the branches uh, model window and create a rule say branch name should be unique okay we did that and okay now we need to go to our branches controller here we are in the we are right now we are posting to the tree action create. So here let's create a statement and check if the e request that is coming into this control action is uh, an Ajax request is Ajax. And if that is so, we are going to model load the values that we get. So e uh, Response so request, sorry, request post and okay. So we are going to, if that is so, we are going to uh, validate this uh, form. So we do that by we first we the the answer that the form expects is a JSON response. So we have to tell, we have to return here a JSON response. So we are going to make the e app response format equals to JSON. Okay. Next, we are going to validate. We are going to return active form, and we are going to use the validate function, and we are going to validate the model. That's it. So we're going to save. We're going to save and check it out. Oops. I'm getting used to Vim, so sorry about that. Uh, again, there's an error. What's that? Ooh. Sorry, this is static method. And here we go. So uh, we have a branch called Colombo. So we are going to try to install Colombo again. So we'll instead and say Colombo. There you go. Branch name Colombo has already been taken. So this this is Ajax validation. If you go into inspect element, the network tab, and go to XHR, you'll see that the request has been sent. So I'm going to change this to Sri Lanka again which is also being registered. See, we are sending branches create to, and here's the validation rules that we are getting, the response that we are getting. Here's the response. Okay, uh, so there's one more thing that we need to do. Since we are submitting this using Ajax, and we are checking if the app request is Ajax, and if it is so, we are sending it to this, through this, to this statement, and it will not get saved here. So this poses a problem. The way we have solved this, is all this is, the form, the validation, we can change the validation URL for, we can change the validation URL. So in the form, we can set a property called, uh, I think HX validation URL. I'm not sure. We can set that to URL to route. 
uh, we can say yeah, yeah we are in the branches and we are going to send it to validation action okay i'm not sure whether this is correct let's see no it's not and oh class you are not found Go to the shop and insert a row use the helpers URL. Okay. And the active variant says that there is no property. So let's go into the uh, active form class and check out what is the attribute property that we need to set. E2. Say e to form, and uh, here we are. Here we can see enable Ajax validation. We have used this, and we have to use validation on the validation on validation, validation URL. It's not Ajax, it's just validation URL. So let's change that this and let's check again. Okay, now let's select. And now we have a 404 error because we created, we are sending this request to branches validation action, but we haven't created that already. So here I'm going to say public function action validation. And I'm going to copy and paste what we wrote here. So copy that and paste it. Okay. Okay. So let's tidy things up a little. And we are good, I think. Let's save and test. Okay, now let's select ABC. Okay, we have an internal server. What is the error? Model. No, we have to create a model of course. So model equals new branches. Yeah. And check it. And we select. And it goes to the validation URL. And let's type in dot which is also another registered branch and it says already has been taken. Uh, yeah, that covers this lesson. I hope you know how you know how to use Ajax validation and this way with use of uh, this property validation URL, you can submit the form. I mean, when you want to save the actual form, you can submit it to the action create. In the validation, it uses branches validation action. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys. Uh, and girls and hope to see you next time and stay tuned for the next one do subscribe and have fun developing with the